Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. The Jewish Festival of Light Hanukkah is now underway. Here to share some of the traditions of the holiday, we welcome back to the show from the Chabad of Northeast Portland, Rabbi Chaim Wilhelm. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, Hannah. Great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Tell me a bit about the story of Hanukkah with the menorah being the centerpiece here. Sure. So 2,200 years ago, the Jewish people are living in Israel. Um, and the Assyrian Greeks conquer the with Alexander the Great, they conquer everywhere around Israel and Israel itself. Uh, after many years, they um, actually take over the temple and the where the Jews served, and the um, Jews want to reclaim the temple. And after a, a miraculous battle, it was a small group of people that won, the Maccabees, um, they reclaim the temple and they want to rededicate it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that they were unable to do was find oil for the menorah, which is a seven-branched candelabra um, that they had in the temple. They find a little jug of oil, enough for one day, uh, as I've uh, explained in, to students who I talk about nowadays, it's like having a cell phone battery that is only able to last for five hours. That's a good and analogy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's only able, it only has enough energy to last for five hours yeah. and yet it lasts for uh, five weeks or something similar. Uh, and so they have this little jug of oil that only is gonna last for one day if they burn it. They light it, it takes eight days to get new oil. The oil lasts for eight days. And uh, th we celebrate that every year. Um, but the, th there's a story uh, and then there's the message for us, mm -hmm. uh, and one of the messages of um, Hanukkah that I have been sharing this year is that uh, when we share a, ca a candle or a flame, mm -hmm. when one flame lights another flame, when one person cares about somebody else and helps somebody else, they don't lose from their flame. They right. don't lose anything, and not only that, they've empowered the second flame to light a third flame, so that flame can spread uh, throughout your family, throughout your community, sharing and caring about somebody else helps them. You don't lose from it, and they can continue lighting up other people's lives. Beautiful message, a great reminder this time of year. You've brought yeah. some other things that we help us celebrate during this season especially. I do see some latkes. I need yes. to know more about that. <laughs> yeah, so latkes are a traditional food. The miracle is about the light. It's about the oil. We eat deep fried foods. Hanukkah is not heartburn friendly. <laughs> um, so we eat deep fried foods. Some people eat latkes, some people eat uh, jelly donuts. Uh, so we brought some latkes and everybody Beautiful. who eats latkes, they want something to dip them in. So we have some applesauce. Okay. I have yet to find the source of a specific tradition with the applesauce besides okay. somebody <laughs> liked it. Tastes the, good. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and the yes. gold coins yeah, well, here as well. The, so the, it's chocolate coins. It's, it's just tradition. And these are milk chocolate coins. Uh, it's the packaging, and uh, it's it's that is actually connected with the game of dreidel mm. that we play. Um, it's a traditional Hanukkah game. Uh, when the the Greeks not only took over the land of Israel, they also outlawed the study of the Torah, the Jewish tradition, and the observance of uh, mitzvot of the Jewish customs. Mm. Um, and so there was a group of people who wanted to continue studying. Yeah. Um, I, again, I tell my students that this was a little odd. Usually your, your teacher, if you're not listening to them, you're playing a game, the teacher looks at you, you hide right. what you're playing with and look in the book. They had to do the opposite. They would Total have their opposite. book. If the Greeks would come by, they had to hide the book and then they would pull out a little top, a game. Okay. So, and, and the game is dreidel. It's very simple. It, it involves chocolate coins. Yes. But um, the, you spin it okay. and... Oh, I'm not as good as you. Yeah, it takes a little I bit need of time. To practice. There yeah, we go. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And then I'll just pl place it down, and depending on what it lands on, will okay. depend on what you get from the pot, oh, etc. Nice. But um, th but there is meaning. Each yeah. the letter and this dreidel, which is homemade, um, is a little larger. And you have the nun, the gimel, the hay, and the shin, and that stands for nes gadol hayasham or a great miracle happened there. And yeah. we are celebrating the dreidel in a special way. Can we bring out our special oh, guests sure. over here? Yeah, and we have, we have dreidel man with us. We, we <laughs> dreidel have, man, how yeah. adorable. And some students of Maimonides Jewish Day School, and we are gonna sing dreidel man's favorite song, and we'll get dreidel man to do a little dance. You ready? Yeah. Take it away. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, Oh, dreidel, I shall play. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. 
you guys are fantastic. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Great old man and company, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbi. Thank, Thank you. you all for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful Hanukkah season. We'll have more information about the Chabad of Northeast Portland on our website at katu.com. And we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.